Hey guys, what I have here is a homemade glow driver that I've designed, uh, modified from some old plans that I uh, found off of one of the RC magazines from years ago and tweaked it for my own purposes. Uh, built it online and had the card actually built over in China and, and the cards, a, a package of them sent to me. I ordered the, the components off of DigiKey and Mouser and uh, built the card so it's kind of pretty cool that you can do this stuff these days and with a lot of help from the internet and tools like uh, the tool i used to build it uh, easy eda it was great and fun to build um, the card has uh, power that feeds to it from the receiver battery or you could also just feed it straight off of the receiver uh, the card does not use a signal from the receiver, so there is no signal. It's just hot and cold. It can run anywhere from a 4.5 volt battery up to, I've powered it up to over 8 volts without any issues on this card. The card gets its power for the circuitry from the receiver battery, or if you want to put your own separate battery in, that's fine. Um, the uh, other side of the card is basically the glow driver component of it. And this is where you connect in the glow driver and your leads to go to your glow plug. So the glow driver battery, excuse me, and the leads to go to your glow plug. This guy here is the MOSFET. It's basically the switch. And all this guy does is he senses, there's a timer basically that sends a sensor in through the glow plug to sense the resistance. And if the resistance falls below a threshold that you set with the potentiometer, then it energizes the glow plug using the battery that's connected to the card for the glow batter, glow plug. Um, the uh, two things that are not on this card right now are the LED to show you that it's actually energizing it. This card I've just put on two leads for the LED, so you can have a remote LED. And I put three leads on for the potentiometer. It uses a small 5K potentiometer. So you can adjust the resistance of where it senses the resistance to energize the glow driver. Um, and what I use for this one is a Turnigy 5000 milliamp nickel metal hydride sub C battery. And because of 5000 milliamp, I, it, it lasts a long time. I uh, haven't had the problem with that. Um, this is going to go into an ultra stick. Um, modifying to work with this configuration and the altar stick i've moved the uh, servos to the rear there this model this version older version of the altar stick had them up in the middle with all the other stuff but i moved them to the rear to offset the weight of this guy that's going on this is a sato fa 100t and uh, that will be mounted on the front and to get the right spacing and everything, I've built this adapter that will fit on the front and uh, allow the plane of the, the engine to be extended out to the right distance according to the plans. This little device here is the actual device. It's a flight tested device. I had it on another ultra stick flying with an 80T, a little bit smaller version, newer version of uh, the ultra stick but with a smaller fuselage and wing. Um, this has two cards daisy chained together for power and for both the uh, power from the receiver battery and power from the glow battery connect into these cards and then the cards feed out to the glow plugs. And they'll fit in this opening that I've created this hatch space for. It has an independent power switch to turn on the glow drivers and uh, separate from the switch that powers the airplane for the receiver battery. And as I said, this has been flight tested with an ADT and it worked perfectly. Uh, idles are down below 1900 and or lower. I think I've got them down to make 1700 in some cases and it was a reliable idle. And uh, the other day I've bench tested this F F80, excuse me, this 100T uh, for the break-in and uh, it idles perfectly. I did not have the glow driver connected to it, but 
one of the advantages of having a glow driver like this and a glow plug driven engine, especially a twin or more cylinders, is that when one cylinder goes out, it senses that it's gone out and will reignite the cylinder. These engines will run on one cylinder. So if you lo lose one cylinder, the engine will still run, but you won't get all the power. So this thing will automatically kick in and ignite the glow plug so that you don't lose power. Um, if you have any questions about this, please drop me a message and I'll try to respond to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much. Take care and have a good day.